Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm looking at a pen that is often recommended as a starter gold nib pen. Um, it's not as often recommended as uh, the Lamy 2K or the Pilot Capless, but you see it come around quite often and that is the Platinum 3776. Um, this is a Japanese a pen with a gold nib and it's very decently priced. Today I want to give you an overview of the finishes I have um, and then zoom in on one particular one that I have and that is the uh, pen with a soft fine nib. So generally uh, starter pens come with a very stiff uh, or starter gold nib pens have stiff gold nibs. Like the Lamy 2K is very stiff nibbed and then um, the Pilot Capital is also very stiff nibbed. This is different because it actually has a soft nib. Of course, you have to buy the soft nib to get the softness, um, but you can get a soft nib at a very decent price. What else is very special about the platinum pens is that they feel kind of pencily when you write with them, so they're not completely smooth. Like the Lamy 2000 is a very smooth writer, um, and it feels almost glossy when you write with it, but the platinum 3776 has a very nice feedbacky feel. So if you like pens with a little bit of feedback that are not glassy smooth, this might be the good pen for you. But let's zoom in on these pens and actually get a close -up shot of them um, and do a writing sample. Okay, here we are with the four Platinum 3776s that I have. Um, I have two of the standard collection, the Bourgogne and the Chartres Blue. Uh, both of these come in a rhodium trim as well as gold trim. The gold trim are a little more uh, cheap or cheaper, uh, so I got those. Um, I don't really mind um, gold trim uh, or I don't care as much about silver trim. Um, so I just got whatever was cheapest. These two are limited edition 3776s. They are still available online in some places. Bought both mine on eBay. Um, both are a converter list right now. Normally you would see the converter in there. Um, they are very nice finishes. They are not smooth finishes. So you can feel the ridges on this pen and they can feel a little sharp sometimes, but I don't mind that. Um, I really love the way this looks, especially when you turn the pen around. Um, I'll show you the very famous Platinum 3776 nib, named so uh, after Mount Fuji, which is um, apparently that height. You can see on the nib, like a sort of imprint of the mountain. They are very, uh, well, very quite big nibs, um, 14K nibs. Uh, this is a, like a rhodium colored and this is, they tried to make it rose gold. I think it just looks gold. Heart nib, uh, heart breather hole, heart shaped breather hole. And um, the number 3776 is on there and the P for platinum. Um, these nibs are very nice, but I wanted to zoom in on a very specific nib, and that is on the Bourgogne. And that nib looks slightly different in appearance, um, not necessarily from this side on, but if you take a side shot, you can see that the regular uh, Platinum 3776 nib is very flat. This is a normal nib. Then you have the soft fine nib, uh, and I think the general, in general, the soft nibs look like this. Are it's a little more curved, um, and I think that helps with the softness. So both still have the heart shaped breather hole. Um, you can see the differences here between the rose gold ish nib and the actual gold nib. It's not that big of a difference. Anyway, let's uh, do a writing sample with the Soft Fine. The Soft Fine is the only one I have inked right now because it is my favorite nib of the Platinums that I have. Um, 
I wish I could change the nib in, and put it into one of the other bodies because the red is my least favorite color. And I've seen that you might be able to do it, but I'm too nervous to pull this nib out, so I haven't done it. Okay, let's write with it. So, of course, it doesn't start up because I've had it uncapped for a while, but then you just put a little pressure on. Okay, let's do some uh, no pressure writing first. Platinum 3776, soft, fine nib. Um, this is a fairly normal, fine nib. It's a little feedbacky, but I like that. And that is very um, uh, typically platinum to have feedback. So this is without pressure. The next whip, let's put some pressure on. So you can actually squeeze out quite a lot of line variation. And I don't generally use this to actually uh, flex with because it's not a flex nib, it's a soft nib. Um, but I just like how it adds a little bit of character to your writing. So you can start with a normal upstroke and then go down to add a little bit of width. For example, on like Christmas cards or addressing envelopes, it can look really nice. So you can see right here how much of a difference is with pressure and without pressure. A pen that I wanted to compare it to, and I might do an in-depth comparison with both of them inked, is the Pilot Custom Heritage 912. This, of course, is a pen from a different price class. However, it also has a soft nib. It has the Efe nib. Um, the nib it looks very different. Like this is the notches on the side. Um, it's a smaller nib, but this nib can handle quite a lot of pressure. I don't have it inked right now. Um, if you want more of a flexi experience, um, I wouldn't say it's full flex, but it's more flexi than the 3776. So if you want a more flexi experience, I would go for the 912 FA or the 823 FA. Um, however, if you're not sure if you like soft nibs and you want to try it out for the first time, go for the 3776. Um, both are very good pens. They're just in a different price class. Um, and um, of course they look very different, but if you look at the nib feel, um, the 912 is just a little more flexy. So does this nib keep up? It does keep up. It doesn't um, stop writing if you do a lot of writing with that. So the feed on this pen is very good. Like I'm putting a little pressure on there now to just show you how it keeps up. The ink in here is not even a very wet ink. It's actually a very sheeny ink, so it is very saturated and a little bit dry. Um, yeah, it doesn't stop writing. It just does its thing. Um, I think that is one of the better things about the 3776 compared to the 912. I think the 912 is more picky about ink. Of course, it lays down more ink because it's more flexy, but the 3776 keeps up much better. The ink is... Um, a diamine cold pens ink. Um, it's little pip. Um, and it's a lovely purple with gold sheen. And yeah, this feed is very good. It keeps up very well, as you can see. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in a starter soft nibbed pen with a gold nib, um, I would go for the 3776. Um, if you are looking to spend a little more money, why not just splurge on a 912 or an 823 by Pilot? Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was informative. If you wanna see an in-depth comparison between the soft fine and the 912, please let me know because I can, of course, do that. Um, I hope
hope you have a good day and thank you for watching. Bye bye.